Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Today, Flutterflow has made a very exciting announcement. They have released a new product and it is all about AI development at a speed of text. So basically, what you need to do is similar to a lot of the AI app builders out there, is to prompt this product with a text of your requirements. And what it does is similar to the AI app builders out there, such as Lovable, it will attempt to build this app out for you using the power of AI. In this video, I'll walk through the product and have a look at what Flutterflow has released in addition, compare it to Lovable, which is probably the leading player in this area right now. So I'm just gonna create a simple to-do list app. This is all about um, creating a to-do list app where we can create tasks, assign and manage categories, assign and manage assignees, and assign due dates. And let's see how it works. Um, so this is basically a very early stage, but you can see here there was a, you know, there's currently no backend. It will be able to integrate with Superbase and Firebase in the future, and also the ability to edit in Flutterflow in the future. I see where and how, I see why Flutterflow has released this product. Um, Flutterflow is quite a complex app builder in the uh, no-code slash low-code space. Um, so as a result, this will lower the barrier of entry to using Flutterflow. For example, a person who have no coding skill can easily prompt this AI to build an app here. A very basic app, or it just keeps prompting until a certain point in time. And then here is the ability to edit in Flutterflow in the future will allow this app to connect to Flutterflow in the future, thereby allowing the user and builders to edit the app with more control instead of just relying fully on AI to build it. Because sometimes when you rely fully on AI, you don't know what it's doing. And there are instances where um, API keys have been leaked and so on and so on because you, you don't know exactly what's happening in the background. Um, this ultimately is, I feel like a lead generator for Flutterflow themselves. It basically translates people who want to build apps but have no experience, slowly connect, slowly bring them on board into this AI app builder, and then lastly connect them with Flutterflow. Um, thereby increasing the user base. So that's most likely why Flutterflow has released this new product. So while we wait, so you can see here that it's generating that code, i.e. it's basically using the language of Flutter. So focusing on Flutterflow's main core skill set, building mobile apps, compared to Lovable, which mainly focuses on web apps. Um, so basically here is similar to what you're doing. It, um, it's basically telling, saying that, oh, hey, we're building all these Dart files. There's gonna be category Dart, assignee Dart, you know, stuff like that. And it's building the homepage right now. And I'll definitely show you what it looks like after, we, after this finishes building. Okay, now that the app has finished building, um, I'll show you how it works. So it has tried to create some kind of task management, category management, assignee management, due date functionality. And you can see there's active and completed tasks. Currently it's spinning for some reason. I assume it's because there's no, don't know why, maybe because there's no task. So maybe let's just add, uh, add a task. Uh, and to see what, what it looks like. So it's assigned the 23rd, uh, there's no categories. Uh, maybe because I haven't created those categories. Maybe let's just go create those categories first. Let's add a category one, cat one. Uh, it doesn't seem to be behaving in terms of the colors. Maybe just make it blue for now. Uh, cat two, cat three. And then let's also manage assignees. Let's go manage assignees. Let's just go uh, James, James at james.com. Jill, didn't seem to add it. Jill, did it add you? No, I wasn't able to add Jill either. Kelly, did it add Kelly? So doesn't seem to be too great at managing um, assignees. The category, oh, it seems to work. Somehow it didn't refresh the page. Um, maybe it wasn't reading the state correctly. Um, anyway, you can now add a task. Let's say task one, task one description, add a due date of the future, um, category of cat two, assignee of James, 
created a task. Doesn't seem to be showing at all still. I'll hit refresh, okay. Seems like I'm able to, now once it's hit refresh, it seems to be functioning fine. I'm able to filter for category one, category two, category three. Uh, I'm able to also filter for signees. So let's just say Jane, uh, nothing but you or signees or categories. Category three or signees, no, nothing looks quite good. Let's I tick this off. Would it go to complete it? Yes, it does. So a bit of hiccup initially, but somehow it just worked in the end. So let's just say add another task to, let's say it's also category two. Let's just say it's assigned it to me. Uh, no due description two with no due date. Let's create the task. Looks pretty good. Let's say I go to category two, complete it, uncheck this, on test whether I'm able to filter by people. So let's say it's James. That's pretty good. Filter to me. That looks pretty good. So overall, it's quite functional, I must say. Like I'm able to manage categories. I'm manage, able to manage assignees. I'm able to add tasks put due date at a task, um, no, click completed. I can see it's completed here. It looks quite good. Um, yeah, it looks quite functional, I must say. Flutterflow did a good job in releasing this product and that it's functional. It's doing, it does a great job building a basic app. Of course, you can download the code and publish it to the web. And in the future, of course, edit in Flutterflow. So you can expand this app, very basic app, even further. I mean, we can keep prompting it to improve it further and further, but this is a great starting point for app builders. And whenever they're ready, they can jump to Flutterflow to continue building. Um, so let's go to Lovable. Let's copy the exact same prompt and go to Lovable and prompt it to see what the result is. So this is Lovable and I'm gonna just prompt it and so let's see what it comes back with. So as you can see, it's doing its magic. It's spinning up the preview. Um, it has got received my prompt and then it's doing all these stuff, right? It will do all these stuff. It will tell you it's creating um, all these TypeScript and CSS files because Lovable is mainly used for building web apps. So I'm gonna pause here. I'll show you at the end what the Lovable app looks like. Okay, so Lovable has spun up uh, a task app. You can see here we can go to categories and add new categories. That looks pretty good. Uh, cat one change color i'm able to add change color that's pretty good i'm able to edit this learning edit that is pretty awesome as well um, assignees i can manage assignees and add assignees uh, that looks pretty good as well um, and then we'll go to task let's add some tasks right uh, task one i can basically pretty much add it didn't seem, to, oh yeah, I didn't add a category. Did I? I can't remember that. I added a category one. I had delete it by accident. It's a task one. It seems like I wasn't, it didn't store my categories that I created. I keep going back here, keep resetting. A bit of a problem here. Um, let's, say I, let's say I add a task. Let's see if it adds the task. Okay, that's good. Let's go back and forth again. It seems to have wiped the task. Um, so it's not functional as I expected. It seems to be breaking where, you know, I edit the categories, it's not working. Um, I added some assignees, it doesn't seem to have saved it. So it's not using any app state, I suppose, to save these data. Maybe because I, it's thinking I need to connect to Superbase to save this data in the back end. So maybe it's my prompting skill that's really bad because I just gave a very high level prompt. Um, to make sure it works, but it doesn't seem to have understood the prompt properly to even build a functional app yet. We can do it visually, but it doesn't seem like the backend data has been saved anywhere, unfortunately. Um, look, like both of these, Lovable is definitely the oldest, I suppose, the most popular player right now in this industry of AI app building, where you're giving text to AI app. Um, but I can see that this will be a competitive space going forward with Flutterflow trying to tap into the mobile side and Lovable trying to excel, continue to excel in the desktop side. I look forward to what you think about this landscape, whether you will use it or you will just skip it altogether and just go the no code slash low code way. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this video on Flutterflow's new product in terms of their text to AI app building and how it compares to Lovable. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe for more content on Flutterflow. See you next time. Bye.